some showers out there. I was, actually was adjusting the radar so I could zoom in right on the golf course. We'll show you that in so just a second. Always, something's always happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on our toes, we're busy. But let's show you what is <laughs> happening out there. This is your stopping grounds, Old Saybrook. Yep. Uh, we've seen a little shower activity go on through there. As we take a look at another one of our iCams, this is in uh, Middletown. You can see that we do have some scattered clouds, but the rain has actually lifted out. So it's pretty brief when it moves on through. And we were talking about the zooming in of the radar and this is great you know when you have a uh, live radar it's going to be very accurate as to the movement of these showers there's no delay okay so we're going to be talking about there's the course that rain has lifted northward now through rocky hill so we'll be watching this uh, very closely as we progress through the rest of the evening hours there's that batch of showers that move through and again you could catch a passing the shower sprinkle some of the heavier downpours down towards colchester uh star let's see looks like essex and old lime we're seeing some of those heavier down Pours. And as we show you the big picture on early warning pinpoint Doppler, there have been a few lighter showers off to the north and east. But as a whole, more areas are dry than wet, but we can't rule out a passing shower over the next couple of hours. And then there's going to be a break, a little lull in between another batch that's set to head our direction for tomorrow morning. So let's show you future casts, give you an idea of kind of the radar, how it will trend through the rest of the evening. Again, hit or miss. Now look at tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, tea time. There will be some issues certainly for that or any plans to be outdoors early in the morning. We do have some showers, heavy downpours, but by the time we get towards 11 o'clock, noon, most of this is out of here and lifted on out. So just an isolated chance after that for the rest of the day. But again, mostly dry in many areas for several hours. So just have that plan B just in case. And then as we get into tomorrow night, could be a few weakening showers, but uh, Sunday doesn't look as bad now. So all in all, you know, we're kind of lucking out. Uh, things haven't been too bad. The models have been all over the place, and we've been making those adjustments. So again, the icons look worse than what's actually going to happen. Morning hours looks the wettest on Saturday for the travelers, and then during the afternoon, can't rule an isolated shower storm. Same goes for Sunday in terms of the afternoon isolated shower storm, not seeing much rain in the morning at all. Maybe a little fog and mist, high 84 degrees. Se temperatures right now in the 70s, warmest right along the valley locations, upper 70s, and a little cooler down towards the shoreline where we have some upper 60s. Uh, it is muggy out there. This is not going to be changing anytime soon, so get used to it. We've had a little rain in New Britain. We've got the bees playing, and there's that small chance early on right now, but the game isn't until 6.30. So again, uh, the conditions will be mostly dry. Again, a brief shower can't be ruled out at both that game and the yard goats with the temperatures in the upper, 50, upper 70s at first pitch. And the middle and upper 70s along the beach if you are headed there. And we get the rain in the morning hours during the afternoon. Just keep a watch out for an isolated shower or thunderstorm that pops up in the heat of the day. But there's your weekend forecast. Low 80s inland, upper 70s shoreline, mid 80s on Sunday and low 80s along the shoreline. And look at next week. Unfortunately, I've had to add back in some icons for chances for showers and storms. Looks like that unsettled pattern is not giving up anytime soon. And that muggy air is going to be holding tight too with us with those overnight lows in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. There's a location shoreline temperatures. We'll keep you updated on what's happening on radar. Another live report a little bit later. All right.